Today, we will look at chapter 2, function. Let's look at the learning objective. After this lesson, students will be able to determine the domain and range of a function. Second, find the composite function. And finally, find the inverse function. Next, we look at domain and range. Domain is the set of all values of x for which the function is defined. In other words, all allowable x value that we can have in our function. For domain, we will concentrate on three types of function. First, we will look at polynomial function, then move on to rational function, and finally, radical function. So for polynomial function, let's say for the first example, fx is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 1, or is a linear function, fx is equal to 5x plus 2. So the domain for polynomial function will be all real number, or we can write as in the form of negative infinity to positive infinity. So next time, if you try to find the domain of polynomial function, the domain will be from negative infinity to positive infinity. Next, we move on to rational function. So you can see that the given function is a fraction. So this one is known as rational function. If we want to find the domain for rational function, what we have to do is we let the denominator is not equals to zero. Finally, radical function. So radical function is in the form of square root. So if you want to find the domain, we will let the expression inside the root is greater or equals to zero. Let's look at the first example. Square root of x squared plus x. So the expression inside the roots will be x squared plus x. So this expression must be greater or equals to zero. In our second example for radic radical function, you can see that in the expression inside the roots will be 4x plus 3. So this expression must be greater or equals to zero. <laughs> 